Hello there, Virgo. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of July 18th through the 24th. Um, before we actually get into the forecast, though, I do want to give you an update on the gifts for my Reiki Master, Sh Master Apprenticeship Program. We are at 10% of the goal now. Thank you all so, so much, especially to everybody I haven't had, to, had a chance to say thank you yet to since we made the last videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At that point, we were at like 3%. <laughs> so now we're at 10%, and I'm getting really, really excited. I can just am looking forward to getting started with this program. And I'm having such a good time getting to meet all of you who donate because just getting a chance to talk to you and find out where you want your Reiki pointed and um, has really been giving me a chance to get to know you. And you guys are such fabulous, fabulous people. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to give back as well. It's just been a really wonderful experience for me, much better than I could have ever imagined. So... For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, maybe this is the first time you're tuning in or whatever, um, what I'll do is I'll leave a little video at the end of this after the credits roll for the forecast, and then you can hear what's actually going on. Uh, but we don't have time to get into all that right now. It's just a thank you update time. Okay, so Virgo, Monday. Justice coming up in reverse. Justice, justice, justice coming up in reverse. For a lot of you Virgos, is this you or is this someone else? Okay, so for a lot of you Virgos, there's somebody who is um, evaluating you or evaluating your material that they've given them. So, for those of you Virgos who have been job hunting, putting out your resumes, filling out applications, this is somebody looking at that resume or that application. Um, for some of you, this can be um, a romantic partner evaluating whether they want to spend the rest of their life with you or not. Um, if you're, you know, just dating and you haven't taken that that step forward, they can be thinking about it and trying to figure that out. Um, for some of you. This can be someone's considering your qualifications for a raise or for a promotion um, where you already work. This is um, the way this is coming across. Now, a lot of times this comes across as a court case. And with justice being in reverse, it would be something that was settled unfairly. I'm not really getting that so much with this. I mean, there might be one or two of you out there that that's the case. But this is more about somebody evaluating whether you can handle a step up in some way or other, whether it's being hired, whether it's a promotion, whether it's stepping up a relationship, whatever that might look like in your life. This is somebody taking you seriously and really evaluating that and considering it. So it's not, the fact that it's in reverse is not a bad thing. It just means that um, there's not a decision actually made yet on Monday when this is showing up, but you're under evaluation still. Okay? So, Tuesday, let me go back. So, Monday, when I said you're under evaluation still, you may or may not know that you're actually being evaluated. And um, if you are under evaluation still, it may have nothing to actually do with what you're doing at work or wherever on Monday. Um, you may be being evaluated based on something that, um, some work that you've turned in from before. So you may not realize this just right away. This may be something that happens and you find out a few days later or the next day or a few weeks later, even if you get the promotion, they may tell you, oh, by the way, yeah, we've been looking at you since da 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 da, -da. <laughs> But this is something that's going on and it's good if you can be aware of something like that. All right. So, Tuesday, Tuesday for Virgos, Six of Swords showing up. Now, the Six of Swords is a good card. This is a card that talks about leaving something negative behind. So, something negative can be a relationship that was having a negative impact on you, a habit that was having a negative impact on you, a negative way of thinking that was impacting you in a, well, that's redundant, in a bad way. <laughs> 
But anyway, this is leaving something behind that has been dragging you down. It hasn't been productive for you. Now on Tuesday, when we see you leaving that behind, you don't exactly know what's coming next, but you just know that, okay, I am leaving that in the past. All right, still waiting to see what the new normal is going to look like. Wednesday. Wednesday, Virgos, Queen of Coins in reverse. Is this you or somebody else? This is you guys. Okay, so... Virgos, what this is, Queen of Coins is somebody who's very generous, who likes to support people, likes to encourage people, um, likes to give to people if that person feels like their gift is being used in a productive manner, one way or another, for something good. Um, and what's coming up here, with you coming up in reverse, with the Queen of Coins, I should say, coming up in reverse, there's somewhere where you've been very generous to somebody and you're starting to realize that that generosity maybe is no longer needed. Maybe it was needed at one point, but no longer really anymore. Or maybe you're starting to realize that the whole time you were sort of being taken advantage of. I'm not sure exactly what the situation is. And it feels to me like it's going to be different situations for different ones of you. But the bottom line here is that when you realize that the generosity that you've been showing somebody is not actually doing anything productive, you're cutting it off. You're like, that's enough. I wanted to do this because I wanted to help you, but it's obviously not helping. So now I'm obviously not doing it. All right, so that's Wednesday. Thursday, we've got the Hermit card showing up. The Hermit card just tells me that on Thursday, you Virgos are going to be spending some time really with yourself, examining yourself, getting to know yourself better. Um, I like to call this my pre-reading card because as we get to know ourselves better, um, then it's easier for us to actually do a reading. It's easier for us to differentiate when ideas come in from spirit as opposed to when ideas are coming in just from our normal thinking. So um, knowing yourself very well is important when you start reading. Um, also, what a lot of people find when they get to know themselves as well at the hermit card type level is they start to realize that they themselves have certain patterns that they follow. And then what happens is they start to realize that people around them also have certain patterns that they follow that are similar to their own. So similar to yours. And so you're going to start understanding yourself much better, you're also going to start understanding other people much better and much more quickly. So it's almost like once you recognize some of these patterns, you can kind of tell what's coming next down the road when you start to see a pattern coming, whether it's coming from you or whether it's coming from somebody else. And so a lot of times people will think that you're actually reading them because you kind of know what's coming and they maybe they haven't gotten to where they know themselves well enough to know that that's what's coming for their, their own selves. Um, so you're not really reading. It's not really psychic information. It's just pattern recognition. But because other people don't know that, <laughs> that's another reason I call this a pre-reading card. But where it really is pre-reading is just in you getting to know yourself really well. Because if you know yourself really well, you can tell where your messages are coming from. Are they coming from inside of you? Or are they coming from outside of you whenever you're reading for somebody else? Or yourself. All right, so let's move on to Friday. We have the world card showing up in reverse. The world card in reverse is telling me that there's some kind of goal or target or manifestation that you've been trying to bring into your life. And um, you're starting to see some of the early pre-manifestations of that. You're starting to see some of those hints that sort of tell you, okay, it's getting close. Um, but it's not really completely here yet. It's not completely tangible yet. Okay, so this card is a card of encouragement. It just says don't give up. It's on the way in. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. T t keep taking the steps you need to take to make this happen because if you give up now, you've given up too soon. But you've got to keep on going if you want this thing to come in and be tangible in your world. Saturday Virgos. King of Cups showing up in reverse. King of Cups in reverse, Virgos, is somebody pouring out their emotions. I get a very similar read for a Queen of Cups in reverse to a King of Cups, but with the Queen, she's more 
This is somebody who is more upset, more volatile, possibly crying, possibly screaming. Um, with the King of Cups in reverse, though, it's still upset. It's angry. It's not happy for sure, but it's also not so volatile. If you guys have ever been around people that when they get super ticked off, they talk quieter than when they're happy and everything is fine. That's the type of interaction I expect you to be having with this person on Saturday. They are going to be super ticked off and they are just going to be talking quieter and quieter. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I expect to be coming up for you on Saturday based on that card. And then on Sunday, what you have coming up is the Moon card in reverse. The Moon card in reverse is actually a very good card. I would much rather have this card in reverse than right side up. Um, the Moon card in reverse is just telling me that you have a situation in your life that you have enough information to know that there is way more going on there than meets the eye. Okay, so when the Moon card comes in in reverse on Sunday, that's telling me that on Sunday, that situation it's like somebody just shines a brilliant spotlight on it and now you can see all the information. All the puzzle pieces come together. Everything makes sense. Oh, that's why. Now I get it. Okay, so all that information kind of comes to the surface and now you're working with the whole picture. And when this card comes into play, typically what that tells me is not only is there a bunch of information that just came to the surface that you couldn't quite put your fingers on before but you knew it was there, that information is important enough information to you that it's going to make you rethink what your position is in relation to the situation that that information is about. So if you've been just an observer, you may be thinking, I don't want to be anywhere near this. I don't even want to see this. If you've been somebody who's been participating in this situation in some way, you may be starting to think, you know, I don't think that I have the stomach to participate in this. I don't want to participate in this. You may start thinking, you know what, I want to participate in this in a different way, in a different role. So um, things are going to be changing about how you feel about this situation once that information comes up. And it is going to make you reevaluate your position in relation to that situation. And I think you're going to be making some changes. All right, so Virgos, that is your week. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. And for those of you who didn't know what I was talking about at the beginning of this video, which probably there's not too many of you like that, but if you didn't, um, after the credits roll, then go ahead and just stay tuned, and you will find out. All right, everybody, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you back here the next time. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, 
But if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no donation, donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.